Okay, once you've removed your old 440 timer, you got your camshaft. Notice on the back of your new timer that there's a notch in the output connector, and the notch matches the uh, width of the tip of your camshaft. So it's only going to fit in the right way. So once you have that installed, position it on top of the control valve, sticking the tip into the back. And usually with two hands, you want to get this lined up in the side notch and then just push down. And it'll be hard at the end because the camshaft is going to start pushing against the flapper valve. Take your timer retaining pin or flag as we like to call it. Get it pushed in and then it'll lock right in left hand position. Uh, then you just plug the power in at the bottom and you're ready to go to the programming steps, which we'll do that next.